Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Ikram bin Baharum My metric card number is B17KE0035 My supervisor is Professor IR Dr. Muhammad Wazir bin Mustafa So, for today's video I will be demonstrating my final year project The title for my final year project is Optimal Sizing and Placement of Distributed Generator for power loss reduction via genetic algorithm. To start off the demonstration for my project, let me start by showing you the full coding of my project. So actually for my project, there are two things that I need to achieve. First is to obtain the total real power losses for two different systems. The second one is to obtain the optimal sizing and placement of DG by using genetic algorithm. So this is the full coding for my project. There are a total of 14 functions. So let me explain briefly some of those functions. This function is the bus data function. So this function is where I put in the values for my bus data. So as you can see here, this is the 14 bus mesh system. This is the 9 bus radio system. I put in the bus number, the type of bus, the voltage, magnitude, the theta, the loads, the tolerance and those are the values that I have obtained from previous literatures. Next is the bus line data. So this is where I put in the line data for my system. As you can see here, I put in the value of the resistance the reactance, the susceptance and also the transformer tap changer. Next is the admittance function. This function is where we develop the admittance matrix from the line data given. So through this function, we'll be calling the function of line data and taking its values to develop the matrix. This function is the load flow analysis. So this function will calculate the total real power losses of the system without the DG. So this means that it will calculate the total real power losses of the initial system from the bus data and the line data and the admittance matrix. Next is the final run with DG. So this function is actually the main function for my project. This is where I run the full coding. This function will be calling every function available in this project. So, for the GA parameters, this is where I manipulate it. So, this is the iteration, the number of population. And under this is all the coding for the GA method. It will be calling all of these functions that is crucial for the calculation by using GA. As you can see here, this is the crossover process of the GA method. This is the dominate process of the GA method. This is the crowding distance between the chromosomes or individual. This is the mutation process. This is the non-dominate sorting process of the GA method. This is actually just a simple conversion between polar to rectangular or rectangular to polar used by the load flow analysis. This is no, this is the final function. So I mean this is the sort process also used for GA. And actually this feed and flow function both are also the same as the load flow analysis function I've just mentioned just now under without GG process. But these two function is called after the GA has proposed a placement of the DG and the sizing. So both of these functions will calculate the updated real power losses of the system and also the voltage profile at every bus. After the simulation has stopped, you will get the results. So these are the results. This is the total real power losses of the system initially. This is the voltage profile of the system at every bus.
this is the optimal location of DG that it proposed. Bear in mind that this is with lower iteration and population value, so the result might not be accurate and might be wrong. So this is the, new, the updated power losses with DG, and this is the voltage profile of the system after implementing the DG. It will also show a graph of the voltage profile of the system before DG and also after DG. Shown here is the results for my project. This is the result from the 9 bus radial distribution system. This is when we place random placement of DG by using the same size DG proposed by the GE method. This is the results for the 14 bus mass system. And lastly, the result from the random placement of DG using the very same size from the GA. That will be all for my demonstration of my final year project simulations. Thank you very much.